Today, Australia is the most culturally diverse society on the planet. Australia as a whole and in South Australia in particular. Increasingly, the majority of our migrants are coming from Asia and Southeast Asia. So there is already a very close natural connection between South Australians and the people in all parts of Southeast Asia. Hello, I am Hugh Van Lee and I am the Governor of the State of South Australia. Southeast Asia comprises many countries, more than 600 million people, and is a very diverse region. There are thousands of different languages, different cultures, different customs, different traditions, and different places for business. This is a huge and exciting world out there, but most of all, they are our neighbours. The Asian arts and, uh, arts and entertainment industry is just exploding, but we need to invest in it and uh, work hard at it, and we need to set up the people-to-people -people relationships and opportunities which takes those possibilities forward with a momentum that might be 10, 20, 30, 40 years down the track. I'm Douglas Gautier, the CEO and Artistic Director of the Adelaide Festival Centre. Well, Southeast Asia has always been a strong source of programming for us. This year, Oz Asia Festival will focus on Indonesia and uh, the relationship in particular will be with West Java, our sister province. I think it's fair to say that this centre is regarded out of all the centres in our country uh, as a preeminent hub for Asian Australian cultural engagement. In the last few years, we've, uh, we've had a policy of strengthening and developing our engagement around language here, because we see that as critically important. You've really got to be able to speak the language before you can engage in the culture. Hi, I'm Nancy Cromar, and I'm Pro Vice Chancellor International at Flinders University. We've actually been engaging in Indonesia for almost the entire length of time that Flinders has been a university, so almost five decades. And obviously over that time we've developed a very strategic relationship with Indonesia, but also of critical importance are the abiding deep relationships that develop over that period of time. We've got alumni now, a thousand alumni in Indonesia. And for us here in South Australia, the, the, the key is to, uh, to define ourselves as a proposition. There's a huge growth potential in the, in the education market. The Southeast Asia engagement strategy is an important initiative. It is a fast growing region and we definitely must be a part of it. We are not the only ones looking to build relationships with that region. Therefore, through this strategy, we must stand out. Hi, I'm Emil Norden, Managing Director of Polyair. We are a manufacturer and wholesaler of air conditioning products. We also have a manufacturing facility in Malaysia and also a joint venture in China. South Australia offers great opportunities for Malaysians across the board. There are many areas in which Malaysia and Australia could work together and learn from each other, be it in knowledge transfer or general training. Our relationship with Southeast Asia has developed over some time and it's a very real relationship, if for no reason other than geographically. There is no jet lag when you fly there. There is no flying via Sydney or Melbourne, we fly direct and conversely they do as well. Peter Gago, Penfolds Chief Winemaker. Penfolds is a South Australian winery. We were founded 174 years ago, back in 1844. We actually have quite a substantial office in Singapore. There's a great restaurant in Singapore, the Tipling Club. We have an exclusive space upstairs called Bin 38. And they have a real South Australian engagement with the foods, with the wines, cutting edge, world-class restaurant. Now that for us is an outpost. And Raidley, out of Singapore, we sell our wines into the Philippines, across into Indonesia, into Vietnam, all over. There is immense opportunity for wine and, selfishly, Penfolds in Southeast Asia. These are cultures that love to eat and oftentimes love to drink. So why not South Australian wine? The fact that we have so much to offer and so much to gain from connecting and working closely in partnership with our neighbouring countries in terms of people-to-people -people relation, cultural and arts, education and training, trade and business, and all other areas of endeavours. I am very optimistic that we will embrace every opportunity to enhance our engagement with people in Southeast Asia, as this will bring enormous mutual benefits to South Australia and to our neighbours in the region.